Hello everyone, Quindra here from Lumpology.com and welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to install Blender 2.8 on Android. So I'm going to go to the Google Play and I'm going to type Andronix into the search bar. This is going to be the first piece of software we're going to need. Very, very amazing software. We're going, it's going to be absolutely great for everything we need. Now I'm going to type uh, Termix. Termix is like a, a Linux uh, console backend and everything we could always ever need from something like this. Anyways, it's great. We're going to go to VNC Viewer because we need something to display our, uh, our like, uh, the, the programs we're going to be using on. So, um, after uh, they have installed, which takes a little while, we are just going to hop into Andronix and um, do some stuff. So Andronix is like a little, gets Linux going. Uh, you should definitely support Andro the people over at andronix.app. Um, they make modded OS's that you can buy and um, they they will make your stuff run faster and are just great. They are absolutely great. You should get them. So we're going to be using Andronix uh, and we're going to use Linux Mandraro. It's very small and much smaller than like Ubuntu. So uh, if you know anything about Linux, that'll make, make sense to you. Anyways, Mandraro is great. So we're going to be using it to, to host uh, Blender. So this will take a little while, so just tap the install button. Um, and once we're down here, we just have to decide what kind of desktop we're going to be using. Uh, I personally think that uh, LXQT is the desktop that we should use, so I'm just going to tap it, hit uh, the open Termix button that just appeared, or you can just open Termix manually, it's fine, it doesn't make a difference. Um, and from uh, once Termix is open, you just need to long press on your tablet or right click if you have a mouse, and you're just going to um, just uh, press the uh, paste button to put this long command in that it, you just copied from the previous software. Hit enter, and now you just need to uh, the best words to describe this is leave the tablet for a while. Uh, if your tablet is prone to sleeping, just put turn it on a setting that keeps it awake. Um, this could take a while. It, it took maybe 20 minutes for me. Um, it's not putting a lot of stuff on your tablet. It just takes a while to get all that stuff from the, the, the cloud servers onto your tablet. So Because we're, we're basically installing a backend into the tablet. It's not large, but, um, though keep in mind, you will probably need a fairly modern device to keep this all running, and that should be expected. I mean, we're talking about Blender. If you're trying to run Blender on your, your tiny cell phone from 2008, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Anyways, once it's all done, you'll get this black screen. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to long press and uh, hit press the more button and then close this and kill process. Um, once we've reopened, just type Reopen to Termix, type ls, and you'll see start-manjaro.sh. As you can see, the timestamp, a lot has happened. I'm just typing dot slash start-manjaro.sh to start the uh, backend. This is a command you can use. It's just, it's you're going to need to type this on in every time to start Manjaro. And um, just write it down or something. It's pretty easy. I'll have it in the description below. Um, and once we're in here, we just need to close this. Go to VNC Viewer. Uh, next, next, next. Uh, don't send them your data seriously and then hit plus uh, and then type local uh, local host colon one to and then uh, type uh, links or something I don't know it doesn't matter uh, we're just sniffing that port for uh, display so now I'm gonna type VNC server dash start and then just uh, skip over the password put a password in like it, it has to be six characters longer VNC server dash start again sorry password one two three four five six there that's great verify it um, and then type no because you want to be able to use the operating system rather than read only. So from here, uh, we actually now get to hop over to uh, Termix, or sorry, over to VNC Viewer to actually uh, run the operating system because it's active right now. You'll see it in the top. It's, so I'm just connecting, typing in the password, uh, typing next, and uh, it's all good. There's the how to control. You can look at all that. We've got a mouse. I thought this would be detriment at the beginning, but it actually helps a lot to have this mouse. Um, and uh, you can just control it with your uh, like a long tap, same clicking patterns as you would with the mouse. It's pretty easy. There isn't an actual mouse though. So uh, what I'm gonna you, you got all the stuff, internet browser, all the useful tools that you can do with a Linux system. But we actually are just gonna hop over to the console, and uh, in the shell. Uh, we're going to just type in a command that will download Blender onto this uh, system. So sudo pacman dash capital S space blender. It's very, very simple. It's going to prompt you one for a yes. Just type Y, enter, and let it let it go. This will take uh, maybe another little while. It's not that long. It's not as long as installing Manjaro did. Um, but this could take uh, some time into itself. 
So uh, I definitely want to thank all of the people involved. Uh, Real VNC for doing the VNC viewer. It's pretty great. It's quite fast and snappy. Uh, people over at Termix who uh, create the, the terminal that makes this all happen. Um, and so on. Yeah. And of course, Andronix for making the, this all possible. So um, credit for them. I'll link them all in the description. You can find uh, Andronix has more commands for the Termix console that you can use to control your operating system. It's pretty good. Uh, and comes in a very, very handy. Um, to stop the server, go back to Termix. Uh, like once you're done with Blender, go back to the Termix uh, console and just type VNC server dash stop, and that'll uh, shut down the VNC server. And then you can just kill the process uh, by long pressing and type hitting more and then hit kill process. It's uh, all, all good. So uh, as you can see, it's installing Blender. Finally got, finally got the Blender thing going there. And now it's done, just like that. And all we have to do is, uh, I think we can type Blender into the console, but I'm just going to go use the GUI graphics Blender. And now we just wait a little bit longer for it to load Blender. And then we can, we can get right to work. This version of Blender is much faster than any of the previous tutorials I've done. All the previous tutorials are starting to feel a little out of date, Blender 2.63 and now 7.9 and now Blender 2.8. It's amazing. And it's not just an old copy of Blender 2.8, it's the latest. It's the newest stuff. So Blender 2.9 might even work when it releases very soon. So everything here is quite fast. The Blender interface can move around. It's all good. This I just tapped the icon for the mouse. It makes things a little easier sometimes. So I can hit X just as you would in a PC and tap once to delete the default cube. Shift A doesn't appear to work. It just seems to select everything, but that's because it's like something to do with the shift Register, it probably works fine. Anyway, but I just use the menu at the top to add the plane, and then I went to modifiers, and where's it is? Like, I don't know, we can simulate an, an ocean. That, 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 that's pretty good, and you can mess with the time scams. The color's a little off, but, you know, we don't really need that. I'm sure we could install a library or something to correct that if we needed to in the VNC in, in the console. And we can navigate the interface. If Here's how you go to the camera. It's uh, very fast, and if you need to do your renders, this will handle it just fine. So with that is all done. I'm Lopology. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this uh, satisfied the itch for um, Blender-related stuff. Um, it's not an easy thing running Blender on your phone, so um, I, I definitely want to provide a medium by which to support anyone who can't get a hold of a, a, t a proper computer or something like that. That being said, a phone is no replacement for a laptop or a computer, so um, if you want to get any real work done, you're still going to need a computer to run Blender. But if you just want to run Blender 2.8 kind of as a hobbyist thing and you, you, you want it on the go, get a, throw it on your phone. If you have a, a decent tablet, like, hey, Blender on the go, plug in a mouse on your tablet, it's not the worst thing in the world, honestly. You can get that. You can get an adequate amount of work done. So, um, uh, I, de I definitely uh, recommend this. I, I certainly use it. I've been using it for uh, a few weeks now, and I can say for sure, it's a lot of fun. Honestly, having Blender on the on the go. It, it, and um, if you do a lot of blundering, it, it's pretty good. You can also hook it into like a a server farm and use the extra resources from your device to uh, speed up your renders on your computer. I won't cover that, obviously, but like, you know, daisy chain your renders, add your tablets and phones in. If they have processing power, use it. People use their phones to mine bitcoins. Why not use them to <laughs> run Blender renders? <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you liked this, do subscribe because it will help us out a lot and can spread the message. And uh, we will... Um, a liking will spread the message, I should say. Subscribing uh, lets you see more cool projects like this. Uh, when Blender 2.9 releases, I will make another tutorial for that so that we can always be up to date. Thank you for watching. I'm Lopology. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>